Hey everyone, it's Jameson again, and it's been a while. Yeah, I've entered that time of year where I'm working my ass off. Usually anywhere from 10 to 12 hours every day. And that means that it leaves me very little time to make videos. Uh, I don't get as much time to work on my uh, model projects either. So, you know, what little time I get, I usually spend uh, painting and doing whatever hobby projects. And very little time for videos. But this is a four-day weekend for me, so I thought I'd uh, shoot a video. And my topic for today is going to be the Age of Sigmar Skirmish game. Now that came out a month ago, six weeks ago, not not too long back. And my local games workshop store started up a uh, skirmish uh, league uh, tournament, not really a tournament, but uh, an ongoing uh, I guess league or I, I don't even know the proper word. But for those of you who don't know, Age of Skir uh, the Skirmish, you uh, you base your armies on uh, renown points, and in this book they have a, a list in the back of uh, the different units you can take, how many you can take, and what their renown cost is per model. So I had gotten the book a week ahead of time and looked through it, and. Didn't look through it good enough, apparently, because when I got down there for the first day, and I was going to have my orc war boss be my uh, general for my skirmish army. And it turns out that he's not one of the models listed in the book that you can take. And unfortunately, your general has to be a hero, has to have that hero keyword. So, out of all the models I had, I only had one other that could be the hero, or the general because of that, and it was my Weird Knob Shaman, which is still in the process of being painted. So, I was pretty much forced to take him as my general. And we were starting off with 30 Renown points. Well, he's 24. So, that left me very little room to add anything else. So, for two points each... I got a, two orcs with bows and slitters for some ranged attack. So that brought me up to uh, 28, and then for one point each, two night goblins with barbed nets. So that was my starting off warband. And naturally, I lost. <laughs> I guess there's just not a whole lot there. But uh, fortunately, with the game, we were, we're allowed two games per week in this in this league we're playing. Uh, in the game, if you if you win a major victory, you get you earn so many you earn ten renown points. Uh, if you win a uh, minor victory, it's a little less. I think it's like eight. But even if you lose, you get six renown points, which you can then use to add models to your uh, your warband or you can save them you can bank your renown points and save them up and after two or three games then spend them on something bigger well naturally after the first game I lost so I went from 30 I got six renown points I went to 36 so I added two more of those guys and two more of those guys so, this is at 36, yeah, that's 2, 32, 34, 35. So, that's what I, I did, and I kept losing. And basically, I got to the point where I was just kind of saving up my renown until I could get, bring in my Orc Boar Chariot. And I finally won a game with him, with that one, that model, with those two guys. It was a, a scenario where I had to assassinate the opposing player's general. And this thing charged him. And between all the attacks it got and a successful charge, I was able to take out the general and I won. So, you know, I earned, gradually earned more renown points. And as it stands right now, this is what my warband 
looks like. I got some ogres in there because you can take anything from the, from your allegiance. And so the overall, you know, destruction allegiance. So I got some lead belchers in there. And that's what my warband looks like at the time being. This guy turned out to be not so bad because he actually can hit pretty well in combat when he rolls good. And then he's a magic user, so he can uh, unleash some magic. And in the, in the last game yesterday, it was a scenario where I had to take out the opposing player's general and he had to wipe out my warband. And he got very lucky. Well, not very lucky. I mean, he, he, he got fortunate enough that he, he took out a large portion of my guys in one turn. And then when it came to the battle shock phase, which is like the morale phase in the new uh, 8th edition 40k, the battle shock phase, I ended up losing five more models. So at that point, I had very little left on the board. And within, you know, very soon, he was the only one left on the board. And so we were down to the last turn of the game. And I went first, and I cast Foot of Mork, or Foot of Gork, or whatever that spell is. And I, I was successfully cast it, and I did damage to his general and killed his general. And the Foot of Gork, you can keep going. If you, you, you know, you, you roll it successfully, and then you do D6 damage, and then you roll a dice, and on a 4 more, you do another D6 damage to an eligible unit. And then you roll the dice again, and on a four more, you keep you keep going until you don't roll a four. And so I actually rolled a four a couple times, or four or higher, and I wiped out his general and a couple other guys. And then it came to be his turn, and since this was the last guy left, he had to take him out. And it was the last turn of the game, bottom of turn five, and he had no no wounds. He'd taken no wounds, and so between his shooting attacks, and then he charged up. He was down to, to one wound left. He had one guy left, the opponent had one guy left to attack with in close combat. He attacked, he hit, and he wounded. And it came down to a single dice roll. If I made my save, I won the game, major victory. But because I'd because I had already killed his general. But if uh I didn't make the save. He would win with a major victory because he wiped out my entire warband. And I made the save, and it was glorious. <laughs> it was a really cool ending to the game, the way it all came together. So that's uh, how it's been going for me the last few weeks. We've been playing on Sundays, and uh, I've actually saved up enough renown points that I'm going to be bringing this Ogre Kingdom's Iron Blaster in. i got to build it this week. We have two more weeks left. So it's been fun. Out of the uh, ten games I've played, I've only won two of them. The one yesterday and the one a uh, couple weeks back when I, when uh, the boar chariot took out the guys. General. So overall, these guys have not been performing up to snuff, so to speak. But it also helps that uh, I, I sometimes I read, you know, I print out the the war scrolls and a binder here so I can look at them during the game and I forget a lot of times the different abilities that d different things have like uh, you know these guys since they're attacking with two choppas they can reroll hit rolls of one uh, these guys if they don't move and it's the same with the uh, with the archers if they don't move during their turn when it comes to the shooting phase, they can make double the attacks, which for these guys would be D6 attacks, which, if the dice roll good, can be pretty devastating to an enemy. The ones, surprisingly, that everybody is afraid of are these little goblins. Because for little goblins, they do surprisingly well. And so all my opponents seem to be in a big hurry to take out my goblins, because the goblins with the nets can make three attacks and they also have an ability that if any enemy model is within uh, I think it's two inches they have to make a, a minus one on their hit rolls and that's if they're attacking the goblin or if they're attacking somebody else so 
even if this guy was attacking this guy, because he's that close to a goblin with a net, he'd have to minus one off his hit roll. So that little goblins can be, you know, pretty, pretty good when when they when they roll good, three attacks and the enemy has a minus one hit. The problem is they have a terrible save. They have a six save, and so if they get hit and take a wound and they don't roll six, they're dead. And if they take a wound from any weapon that has a rend characteristic, they're automatically dead. So they're good and bad. So that's about about it for now. Just uh, a quick little video. Well, it's been about 10, almost 11 minutes on the whole skirmish thing. I might do another video in a couple weeks if I get the time to see how the, uh, the, the whole tournament ends up. I thought there was going to be more players, but there's only about five or six of us playing, and that includes the store manager, and he's been kind of holding off to get everybody else, you know, chance to play. So at this point, and, and then out of the other players, they haven't been playing as many games. I've been going down there every week playing, you know, the two games that you're allowed each week, along with a couple of the other guys. So some of the other ones uh, haven't been playing as many games, so they're kind of falling behind points-wise. At this point, I'm up to 111 renown points that I can spend, and I'm tied in the lead for the guy I played yesterday, 111. But there's a couple other guys right behind us, like with, you know, 90s, uh, upper 80s. But after starting off so crappy, uh, there might be a slim chance that these guys could, you know, finish in, in, the, in the top, you know, maybe not number one, but in the top three. And in, in the top three, I think we win some kind of prize of some kind. So who knows? We'll see. But uh, I'm going to be taking that Iron Blaster, and I'm also got, uh, I'm working on another couple lead belchers. I can only take one more lead belcher. You can only allow three at most. But uh, probably add one more of those. And then over here, I wish I could take that, but I'm probably going to take some a couple spider riders. So, yeah, I'm working on that for just the regular Age of Sigmar army. So that's it. Been having fun playing the skirmish game. That'll be wrapping up here in a couple weeks. And then, of course, it'll be the whole uh, 40K summer campaign with uh, they're going to do. And I'll be hauling the, uh, the nids back out for that. So thanks for watching. And... Uh, Check back now and then because there might be a video or two before the summer's over. And I'll see you guys in the next one.